name's Timothy Everest. I'm a bespoke tailor based in the now trendy Spitalfields. We've been here for just over 20 years um, offering bespoke tailoring to uh, our clientele. Um, here we actually make everything by hand. It truly is uh, a unique experience where we cut, uh, sew and put something together for individuals. While having selected the fabric will give people a series of fittings and make something that's totally exclusive to them. Cars and anything on wheels have always been of uh, great interest to me, but uh, more recently I was lucky enough to drive the uh, three-wheeler, which I temporarily borrowed for about six weeks, um, which was it was great fun. But I, one of the things I really enjoyed about um, driving the three-wheeler was actually getting dressed to drive it, and I actually enjoyed wearing a cotton suit and a soft shirt and knitted tie, and being quite sort of elegant in this uh, slightly rebellious car with all the sort of uh, decaling. I think the interesting thing is both companies are traditionally British, uh, but we're both modern in the way that we look at things. You know, I might be making handmade tailored suits based on the principles of Savile Row, but we've evolved the way that we do it, the way we approach it, and how the way that we reach out to the customer, and also that we actually work on other things other than just pure bespoke. We do develop things um, like the Morgan driving jacket, but very similar with Morgan, you still make cars by hand, you still make individual bespoke versions if people want that. There's a lot of parallels between sort of modern British craft and Timothy Everston Morgan. So we wanted to work on something that was quite neat um, and tailored um, but relaxed at the same time. So something that we could take a bespoke approach to tailoring for Morgan specifically. So we picked one style to start with and a couple of fabrics. The first style we've done is a, a simple uh, three button uh, jacket uh, which has um, um, a patch pocket with a key fob holder in one side and elbow patches and we have which we're quite pleased with an eccentric elbow patch which is for right or left hand drive which is slightly longer for the gear change to wear of the sleeve. Um, we've even got an eccentric button on the left hand side which has been hand turned by smudge I believe in the factory which is a little aluminium button to just give a little bit more room for the sort of more sporting watch which is quite nice which would be kind of a signature on the garments. They're, they're effectively um, very very comfortable so they have like a shooting back uh, bit like you would actually use for shooting but actually for steering gives you a bit more room and give. The fabrics were quite key to start with we wanted to put together something that was kind of transseasonal in, in, in sort of use nine months of the year certainly in the UK um, and so we've picked firstly a, a wonderful sort of royal blue stroke navy uh, cotton twill which has a little bit of stretch in it which is fantastic and that one's trimmed with the black leather and also a red under collar which is really really beautiful um, and then we've got a stretch uh, corduroy which is in the sort of perfect sage green country sort of green which has a yellow under collar and that's got chocolate brown suede trim details so these are quite smart jackets um, that would look elegant anywhere as I say you could dress them up with a shirt and tie but you can wear them with a polo shirt and the pair of chinos but ultimately they're extremely practical so if you do take them up and you roll them up in your bag you know they should increase too much but also we've picked fabrics that will actually not distress but will actually get better with wear so a little bit like the pattern on the leather of your seat so they will change the same with the the, the corduroy it will start to to change in age and that's something we thought was quite nice rather than having this thing that was just you know um, transit it was something about having that was going to get better with wear and become your own item so in this day and age where we've got things that are sort of supposedly authentic and vintage and they've been washed to look like that it's rather nice that you start off with this kind of clean pure product and it becomes your own vintage your own piece of something special.